Okay, everybody, today uh, we're going to go over how to set up a Fisher TW6 split box so you can do a single person induction. Uh, this is a phenomenal tool that's underutilized that more people should utilize. And basically, a split box is uh, the same as a standard pipe and cable locator. You have a receiver on one end, it's then attached, you know, with a pole to a transmitter on the other end. And what it does is the transmitter puts out a continuous signal uh, or a pulsing signal. You can make that choice. And the receiver picks up a signal that is induced into some object or the ground. I mean, the ground also has some conductive properties and it could induce into that. What you want to do is to be able to kind of minimize the noise and have it work really well when you're hitting the targets of interest. So the split box here is gives you the choice continuous or warble which is that pulse we'll go ahead and keep it on continuous and then all you do is you pull this to turn it on we know it's on because now my green light is on on the receiver okay we have actually a nice new led screen uh, for these new versions for a long time it just had a little dial uh, analog that went up when we uh, get it going we typically start the sensitivity at seven um, can work in normal or high sensitivity we'll work in normal because this is plenty noisy as it is in our area um, and then this knob on top is used to zero out the system okay and so once we turn it on we'll use that knob to zero it out to turn it on and it's going to make a pretty loud noise to start we'll go ahead and turn it down for a minute so it doesn't bother you and uh, once we get it up and going now you'll see how it gets started Okay, so now you can see we need to zero this out. And so to zero it out, first we're going to go to seven here. And now we'll use this knob and take a second sometimes. The other way. Ooh, there we go. So you get it down to about zero. And now it's ready to go. And so once it's zeroed out on seven, and with the uh, zeroing knob, you can see, as I'm moving around, it's getting a little sensitive. So now, if I want to tone the sensitivity down, I can now tone it down. Now, some people like to orient the system this way when they do it, and that's okay, too, and test it against a target that's next to you. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and test it against this metal grate that's over here. And so once you see, you know, I tone the sensitivity down just a little bit. Right? If I go up, you'll see it's up sensitivity down just a little bit because it's noisy and now I can go ahead with the split box and just walk okay and you can see there's not really much going on I'm actually crossing over a this this does have a tracer wire tracer wire in it I kind of picked that up a little bit but as I'm walking now I go over a metal grate loud response and as I get past the response dies down if I go backwards again over it Right, it induced into that metal grate. Now again, if it's a little too noisy, tone it down a little bit more, my sensitivity goes down. Right, now you can see it's a really nice localized signal. One other really neat feature uh, that the new system has is if you start to tip it up, it'll tell you that you're at an angle. And you can kind of see it says 45 degrees. So if I'm 90 degrees, it's showing that I'm 90. Basically, if I go flat again, now it's showing that I'm back at about, you know, appro appropriate degrees and I can start to walk. You can see right over it, right? We have the transmitter on one side, my receiver over here. It's inducing a signal into this metal grate, which is being picked up by the receiver. If I move back, now it's back to zero. So that's how you can calibrate or zero out your system. If you need to find things that are smaller or less conductive than that grate, then you can turn the sensitivity up, obviously. And now, you know, it's more subject to noise, but you could find other things as well. And again, if we go over here, right, so now, I'm at this metal beam, and it's finding it. They go away, it stops finding it. So it's up to you 
and how sensitive the targets are that you're looking for. If you're looking for a big metal tank or something like that underground, you know, the sensitivity doesn't have to be too high. If you're looking for something like a small tracer wire, uh, then you might want to turn the sensitivity uh, up. Uh, but for a big metal tank or a, uh, uh, you know, a metal pipe or something like that, you, know, you might be able to turn the sensitivity down. So uh, I hope that this was helpful for you. Uh, if you haven't gotten one of these, you should definitely consider getting one. It is a tool that uh, true professionals have in their toolkit. A lot of people drive around by themselves. They can't do a two-person sweep. This is a great option um, to do a single-person sweep. And if you find something and you don't have your locator, you can always drop this down and then you can take the transmitter off put it on the ground and then just walk with the rest of the unit and trace out, you know, like you're doing a normal locate. So I hope this was helpful. If, uh, if you're out in the field today, good luck. Thank you so much. Appreciate you watching.